Hey guys, this is David from Omega Engineering. So today we're going to be learning how to wire a DIN style pressure transducer. So let's dive straight in. So here we have a PX119-100GI, which is a 100 PSI pressure transducer with a 4 to 20 milliamp output. It has two wires, and typically you would connect those two wires in a loop circuit. To disconnect the DIN plug from the transducer, I'm using a Phillips screwdriver. And once I have it all the way out, I'm going to pop it open just like so. So once you disconnect the mini DIN plug from the body of the transducer, you'll see a little slot at the bottom. Use a flat blade screwdriver, push it in like so, apply a little bit of pressure, and then pry the whole assembly from the inside out. And then once you disconnect that, once you get it out, you'll see a terminal block with four screws in there. And if you look at the body of the transducer, you should have the pinout configurations, or you can also look at the calibration certificate. So now before we connect the wires to the terminal block, here's a tip for you to make your life easier. Take these two wires, run them in through the DIN cap, like so. Once you feed them in through the cap, now go ahead and wire the red and the black to the terminal block. So now red is going to be positive. So I'm connecting red to supply over here, like so. And black is going to be positive output. So I'm going to connect black to positive output over here like so. And once you have the red and the black connected, just put that little terminal block assembly back into the DIN cap like so. Apply a little bit of pressure, you'll hear it pop. Make sure that you align these little slots against one, two, three, four. The pins on the actual body of the transducer. Apply some pressure. Once you have it in, put the Phillips screw back in and tighten it back in. There you have it, folks. We have successfully wired a DIN style pressure transducer with two wires, red and black, one connected to positive supply and one connected to positive output. And as always, if you have more questions, comment below or feel free to contact us.